Hi everyone. My name is Saira and I'm with the Hunger Project. We're really excited that you've decided to join us and have an event with us and we look forward to helping you in making it a successful event. In order to get your event started, you can create a page for it on our website. This video is going to take you through a few easy steps to create your event web page. The first thing you do is go to our website at thp.org.au. Then you can go to Get Involved and go to Create an Event. If this is the first time that you're doing an event with us, you will need to create an account. You go through the user account sign up page, enter in your name, your address, your date of birth, your phone number, and your email address. You'll be using this email address to log in. You can also enter in your password over here. Once you've done that, you can create a new account. I'm not going to go through these steps as I already have an account. So once you've done that, you'll get an email confirming that you've created your account. Then you can just go to log in. Over here, you enter in the email address that you had provided us with and your password and you can log in. This will pull up your profile page where you can see the information that you've provided us. Once you've signed in, you can go back to get involved and create an event. This page is where you will be writing in all the information about your event um, and getting people to sign up to do your event. So you can upload a photograph, you can name your event, you can put the date and time of your event, write down where, where your event is going to be, and then provide some information about your event. So let's say you're uh, doing a hike. So you can upload your photograph here. You can either select one of the photographs that we have here or upload your own. So I'm going to choose a file select that one and click upload. Once the file is uploaded you'll be able to see it over there. Then you can enter in the name of your event. So I'm going to name this event Hike for Hunger Test. And you can put the date and time of your event. So I'll put down October 16th and you can choose the date over here. And you can enter in the time of your event and then you save it and then you enter in the location of your event. Under about this event you can write a little bit about what you're doing, why you're doing it, what motivated you to do it and how you got involved. Then you can tell people a little bit about what you want them to do. If it's a hike you can give them details about the hike. If it's a dinner event you can give them details about the dinner, where it's going to be, if there are going to be any speakers, you can include the names of the speakers. If you would like people to buy tickets to your event, you can provide information about how to do that and how to get in touch with you. Once you've entered in all the information about your event, you can set your fundraising goal over here. If you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you can see that there is a default thank you email that is automatically sent out to anyone who makes a donation towards your event. You can leave the text as it is, or you can edit and personalize it. We're going to leave it as it is for the moment. If you would like to invite people to your event, you can enter in their names and email addresses up here. They will automatically be sent an invitation email when you post your event. If you would like to skip this step for now, you can just leave this part blank and then later on, email them a link to your web page. Once you've entered in all this information, you can go ahead and post your page. Before doing that though, be sure to check all the text that you have entered in as edits cannot be made after the event is posted. You can also preview your event page so that you can see what it will look like. Again, remember to double check the information that you have entered in. Once you're happy with your event page, you can go ahead and post it. If you like, you can make a donation over here. If your event requires a registration fee, you can click yes and then make a donation on the next page. If you're not ready to make a donation at the moment, then just click no and continue. And that's it. 
there's your event page. At the top in the address bar, you can see the URL link to your event web page. So if you would like to tell more people about your event even after you've posted it, you can just copy and paste this link into an email and send it to your contacts. On this page, you can see how far along you are to reaching your fundraising target. You can see your total over here. When someone makes a donation, you will be able to see their name and how much they donated over here. If you would like to see what other people are doing, you can go to Get Involved and click on Attend an Event. Here, you can see a list of all our events that are going on at the moment. You can click on them and see what other people are doing and get ideas of what you can be doing and how you can set your fundraising page up. You can also use this to find your event page in the future. Here's the event page that we just created. And there you have it. That's how to create an event page. If you have any questions or any problems while creating an event, you can just contact us by email or by phone at thpa at thp.org.au or 9222 9088. Thanks for getting involved in the Hunger Project. We look forward to your event.